So today guys I bring you the location and guides on 5 brand new iconic weapons to the Cyberpunk 2077 Phantom Liberty DLC. How's it going guys my name is DPJ and if you do enjoy the video leaving a like really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more be sure to subscribe. Okay so some of these weapons are tied to gigs, the main story and even lying around for you to grab. So let's get into it guys and first up we have the Hawk. So yes, this is the president's very own weapon and man this thing is crazy. Headshots with this temporary weaken and mark enemies. In this weakened state, enemies move slower, cannot use abilities, deal less damage and are more prone to losing their balance. Like wow. So if this sounds like your kind of thing, this is how you get it. Well guys, it is just leaning up at a wall waiting for you to pick it up, but not initially. So this is what I did uh, in regards to the choices that I made, but I'm not really sure they do make a difference here. So during the La Cretia and My Reflection mission, you and President Myers find refuge in an abandoned Dogtown building. Within here you are greeted by two intruders. These I believe you can take out, which I did. How the other path here goes with these two dudes, I ain't sure. So from here, you get that little sleep. Which is when I woke, I saw this weapon just lying around, but here you cannot grab it. I then went on to pledge that oath and become an agent. I don't know if this matters either, but to be honest, I don't think it does. From here, I was sent out to find Reed, which is what I did. When we got back here, guys, there was a little dialogue between the two. And while from here up on, you being instructed to leave this building, I was able to grab the weapon leaning up this wall. Simple as that. If you progress past this part, yes, you can come back and this weapon should be here waiting for you. So do what you gotta do, guys, and come grab this amazing new Hawk Iconic Assault Rifle. Okay, so next up, guys, we have two Iconics, which are kind of tied together. We have the Ogol, I believe that's pronounced, and the Gris Gris. Now, the Ogol is tied to a gig, but it's within this gig, guys, you can get a key, which is used in the main stone mission called the Damned, which you can then go ahead and get the Gris Gris. Let me explain a little further. Okay, so the two Iconic weapons are the Ogoa, I believe that's pronounced, and the Gris Gris. Now the Ogoa is tied to a gig which I believe you can do at any time and also come back to. This isn't a problem. But the Gris Gris, which is an amazing weapon, this is tied to a story mission where you enter a building. Once this mission is done, the building locks up and I've tried for about half an hour and I cannot find another way in. So at the end of the early Phantom Liberty mission of La Cretia and My Reflection, you have to wait two days for Reed's phone call. The optional mission here is to look for extra gigs in Dogtown. And it's really at this point guys you want to come and do this gig. Because it's this gig which you get the key from. And it's also because it's the next mission of where you use this key in this mission to get the Gris Gris. So yes, although you can come back to this gig at any time and grab the key and all go at Iconic. But as soon as you progress the next mission of the Damned, you cannot grab this new Iconic, the Gris Gris. So it's important to do it in this order. So as you wait for that phone call from Reed, come to this point on the map guys. Here you should get a call from Mr. Hands about this gig. So answer the call and go to this gig. The gig is called Treating Symptoms and here you have to get inside the Voodoo Boys base. Now how you do this is up to you. But the very first room you enter, right of this statue upon you coming in, there is a door you can enter. It's within this room, guys, you will find Slider's Hideout Storage Key. Slider is part of the next mission after that Lucretta My Reflection. This mission is called The Damned. So upon you grabbing this key, you can complete this gig as I would because it's about two thirds of the way through. You come to this room where you take on a robot R Mark II. This is an awesome battle, but upon you taking out this robot on his body, you will find the Algoa Iconic Weapon. Okay, so from here, guys, finish the gig. Once you do, you can skip time to get that phone call from Reed. So when he does, the next mission starts and it's called The Damned. Now the second part of this mission after you have met Alex at the Muff Bar is for you and Reed to go into Slider's Hideout. Now in this mission guys, you have to destroy four server cores. It's in this room where you'll find Slider's Hideout storage. So once you are done with the cores and the enemies, go where I go guys and enter this hideout. It's just a room but you need that key to enter it. V 
thing here guys is the Gris Gris weapon and man oh man this thing is amazing. It's basically a charge full auto tech pistol but check this out. This weapon has been fused with Slider's Cyberdeck. Each hit has a chance to upload a random quick hack to an enemy. The stronger the quick hack, the smaller the upload chance. So yeah, pretty amazing if you ask me. It also hits very hard indeed. Okay, so next up guys, we have the amazing Sparky sniper rifle so the sparky was added with the phantom liberty dlc and well we will call it the electric sniper this thing's amazing modded by scarves rounds fired from this weapon and electric bolts on each headshot i mean why not okay so to get this thing guys it's quite straightforward come to where i am on a map guys and head over to this criminal well increased criminal activity zone it is in terra cognita Once here guys you will be welcomed by quite a few enemies including a mini boss Arasaka drone who can be a bit of a pain in the ass. Now you do want to take him out. Once you do guys travel up the escalators, take out any remaining enemies up here and then guys within this room lays this new iconic sniper. So grab it guys it really is that simple. So this is how you get the new iconic sniper rifle the Sparky. Okay, so lastly for today's video guys, we have the Kyubi X Mod 2 Assault Rifle. So to get this weapon guys, it's really simple. As long as you can swim, you can come and grab this. So come to this point on the map people, and then just jump into this, well, pool of water and swim down. Now my game was going all kinds of crazy when swimming, the screen was glitching out. I don't even know what's going down, but it is located at the bottom of this water, uh, tied to some poor fella. But yes guys, simple as that, just come down here, grab this thing and the weapon is yours. And there we have it guys, 5 brand new iconics to the Cyberpunk Phantom Liberty DLC. Now I do have plenty more videos with many many more items added with Phantom Liberty so make sure you stay tuned by subbing so you don't miss a video. Guys if you enjoyed this video leaving a like really helps out, if you like what you see and want to see more be sure to subscribe and hopefully guys I will see you on that next one.